Hello YouTube, welcome to another DIY tips and tricks video. This one is regarding still the good home threshold bar, but this is an update because the last time I did a video, or uh, before I realized I should do a video, I'd kind of already done the job. But here I am today fitting another one. And so I thought, well, I'll take you through the whole process because a couple of people asked about that. So uh, I've got one here, the instructions are, are literally that. Um, they, they're not, I think they have updated them. I think they're more helpful than they were, uh, but it still doesn't really give a good indication of what we want. So, first of all, I'm going to sort of open this up. I'm going to measure the uh, the doorway opening and I'm going to cut my threshold bar to that size. So here is what is annoying, is that as you even as you open up the pack they've glued these screws to the back of the sticky pad for the for the threshold bar so it's already difficult to get this off without taking the sticky pad off which we don't want to do yet until we're ready to actually fit the device just watch out for that so in order to cut the threshold bar you're going to need like a hacksaw like this kind of thing uh, and a miter block which just helps keep everything nice and clean I've now got the threshold bar sort of uh, fitted to the right sort of length, but as you may notice, if I come down a bit lower, the gap of the actual edge of the carpet is not, it's not quite in flush enough with it. So what I'm going to have to do now is just mark off and cut out a little extra notch on each side, just so then the threshold bar is right in the middle of the two, the two joints. Okay, and so I've now cut, um, Scribed out a couple of edges on here uh, for it to fit. Just to say, yeah, try your best to keep the plastic wrapper on the back uh, because the edges uh, are sticky. So when we do actually push down and, and the the rods that we put in grip the threshold bar, uh, the, the sticky pad sort of add an extra sort of strength and seal to it. So try and keep the back of that on. Um, door widths, certainly in the UK, the widths that they come out, you'll need to cut a little bit off uh, to fit your sort of normal door or something like that. So my tip for there is just just make sure that the, the cut edge that you use, it's not that noticeable, but if you use the cut edge where, you're, where the door hinges are going to be, just so then you'll never see that sort of side anyway of it. So if I just sort of lay that in place now. You can see I've cut into it just so it sort of fits over and now we don't have that overlap with the carpet when it's glued down. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is, uh, well for mine it's slightly different because I've had to cut the sort of corners off, but I will then, from where it actually fits, uh, uh, or the way I cut it to fit this way, we need to now know where the channel is, which is right in the middle of the strip, where we can attach these, the, the sort of plastic screws they have. So for me, because I've had to scribe the, or cut out the little corners, I'm gonna flip it over, but unless you've had to cut out little notches, you don't have to flip it the other way around, you can just keep it the same way. And so I'm gonna put the threshold bar in, still where the, where the cuts are, but now I can see where the actual channel is on the back, and then what I'm doing is just uh, just making a, a pencil marking of the sides of where the, the channel strip is. So when I remove the bar and where I'm going to be sort of drilling in holes, I'll sort of know where this channel is going to be at that time. Okay, so before I drill the holes sort of in the ground here, let's have a quick look at the screws. These are like what? What I sort of tend to call like push fit sort of screws. They come in this little pull out sort of uh, shape. So um, the be aware, obviously, when you're screwing these in. This the one I video did before was into a concrete floor, whereas this one is floorboards upstairs. So you've got to be aware of pipes, cables, all that kind of stuff in the unit. Now, I know even if you don't know what. Uh, where cables and pipes are, which I do. Um, I know that the floorboards underneath are 20 mil thick. I've got that I've put in a nine mil ply 
four and a half mil uh, you know, floor and a five mil underlay underneath. So, so I know as long as I'm not using more than a 40 mil screw, pretty much, that there's no way I'm going to, you know, be penetrating through the floorboards underneath to actually risk going into any pipes. But bear that in mind when you're doing it. Now, what you can do is obviously with these, you can cut them. So you can measure out however deep you want these holes to go that you're going to do and actually cut these screws to that length to suit and fit. Uh, and then what you're going to be doing is using a six mil drill bit to put in the holes in order for those screws to go into. Now, if you don't know what size your drill bits are, a good measurement way for these anyway, is that if your drill bit is wider than obviously the cylinder in the middle, but not quite as wide as the teeth on the outside, so then it's got something that it's gripping to. That's the idea. So I've marked out my holes roughly where I'm gonna be. Don't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'm just evenly spacing them out just so there's uh, as much grip as possible. Um, and all I've done, I've got my drill bit and I've just put a bit of salad tape, uh, 20 mil in on the drill bit, just so I know uh, not to go any deeper than that. Again, just be careful of pipes and cables. This way it keeps it uh, nice and simple. Okay, let's drill. Okay, so I've just, you know, drilled my holes uh, as planned in line with the, the two markers that I've got, just so I know it will all kind of fit in line. And so in theory, what's, what these are going to be doing is basically pushing into these holes. And as they push in, they're going to grip bit by bit as you, as you knock them down. And so what you've got to do on the actual panel, as I was explained in the other video, is that these need to basically slide in. Let's see if I can do it with doing this one hand one sec here we go this is the idea so they go in this rail and they will ultimately not very easily but they will slide up and down so uh you attach all your screws to your threshold bar that you're going to fit uh line them up in the sort of right place where the holes are going to be and then really at this point then you're going to peel the sticky back off that and literally just push it down into place and the floorboards, if you've used a six mil drill bit with these, it will grip and it will hold it nice and tight. And then the sticky pad uh, will see that off either side. Let's give it a go. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the screws I've got, I've offered up the, the, the plate uh, on its back, but in the way it's gonna go. And so I'm moving these uh, the sort of pushing screws, if you like, along the board, just to sort of basically line them up. So as we push them in, they are gonna go into the, uh, into the holes that we've got. So in order to do this, obviously you've got to peel, you have got to peel the sticky back thing off here in order to get those in. Uh, my last tip on that is, whichever side you've cut the threshold bar, uh, put these screws in, via the non-cut end just so then just in case that any of that end is bent through cutting it uh, it does make life a lot easier using the non-cut end so i'm going to tense it with kind of one hand as well all through here Let's see. Let me just line this one up and come back. Okay, so yeah, I've got this one sort of now finally lined up. So I've still not whacked it in, but they're, they're kind of each part way in. 
And from this point, really, in theory, they do suggest doing it with a uh, with a block of wood. I have got a little bit of this in the way. Now I've pushed it in, so now I'm going to keep going along. And so, yeah, I've just pushed on it all the way in and there it is, you might have to stand on it a little bit, but uh, there it is. There's your threshold climbing in. And it's stuck down at the at the edges here. Uh, obviously in this case, it's, it's obviously it's sticking to the carpet, it may not stick particularly well there, but uh, but because we've got the four rods in there pulling this down, it's in, it's in very, very securely. So there you have it. That's what you do. Good luck.